Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Join me for another fun-filled war. This is season 47, and war number seven. We're almost there. And we're going against an alliance called the Greek Titans. All right. We'll find out if we're going to be going for the win in this one. Let's see who they ban. Ooh, OG Iron Man, Kingpin, and Scorpion. Nasty bands, nasty bands. Let's see what they got planned for us. See, spectate a little bit. Oh, I already see Future Ant-Man, so that's already Magneto coming in. All right, so we got Wong. So I'm going to be bringing in Nick Fury, probably. Um, In fact, I might bring Nick Fury for that Overseer as well, looks like. Yeah. Okay, so Nick Fury, Magneto, and Lady Deathstrike. That was quick and easy. And we will be assigned someone here. Maybe, if I have someone, probably uh, this Emma Frost. Yeah. Yeah, that Emma Frost, I think, uh, Lady Deathstrike shouldn't have a problem with. All right. Nice, quick planning. And let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, and Nick Fury. Nick Fury should be able to handle uh, Section 1. And then we've got Magneto and Lady Deathstrike handling Section 2. And then we have a mini-boss fight. Yeah, that one wasn't uh, a lot of fun. But we shall see. So first up is Wong. And my strategy is pretty straightforward. Nuke him down. Even if he manages to um, destroy the life model decoy of Nick Fury, I should be able to get him down with the second life. The only time I'm really worried about bringing Nick Fury in is when there's somebody that can block, you know, stagger his buff or um, pretty much block him from getting to the next one. So that's like Wiccan. Um, no, not Wiccan. Um, uh, Penny Parker. Uh, Warlock, you have to be really lucky and get the timing just right. I've not managed to do it. All right. <clears throat> but uh, Penny Parker for sure. Don't want to deal with. Um, Danny Moonstar, although I haven't managed to do that one yet either. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not too worried about fighting Danny Moonstar either, uh, with Nick Fury because it's until they rework her, which they said they're going to make her even more of a, uh, Nick Fury counter until then <clears throat> I'm not worried about fighting her. It's too difficult to stop his, uh, second. You have to line things up just right. Now, <clears throat> overseer here is not difficult. Uh, his auto block mechanic can be worked around. All right, so now he's in auto block, so you hit once. That's all. You can wait it out. There we go. And then go in, do it again. Okay. As long as uh, he's not firing that special. And it looks like there, I forgot what that node is, but you'll notice he fired his special one, then he fired his special two. And I'll bet you, if he survives, he wants to fire a special three unless he's low in health. All right, so we stunned him with our special uh, two. Yeah, see, I would not be surprised if he held his special until three, but we knew we weren't gonna um, let him get there. So Nick Fury, clean, nice, clean fight. Uh, this next fight, pretty uh, standard now. Anytime I see a uh, future Ant-Man, Magneto's coming in. He does that fight beautifully. Nothing special. Parry. 
heavy. Get to a special three, fire it off. I don't recommend using a special one or two on future Ant-Man. He has a cap on the damage. Uh, special one doesn't really do enough, in my opinion. And special two, he has a cap on his damage. So special three is the way to go, okay? Special three can't be glanced. Don't ask me why, but you'll notice that I just got hit. Happens almost every time. I'll be parrying, and then suddenly he'll do something. And I've watched it carefully, and he'll sometimes stutter just slightly to throw your timing off, just a bit. And so instead of parrying, I'm getting hit. It's like they, they sneak a jab in, but we're not too worried about it. You can see we're almost to our special three. And I'm gonna now start holding my heavy a little bit longer so I can start building up the uh, prowess. But I do want him to throw that special any day today. Thank you. I swear, that's the most annoying thing. See, I'm holding it now. We're up to 17. Power detonation did not take my power. So we're good. One more good, uh, there we go, 41. He's done. Probably don't even need 41 but I like to get at least up to there. Look at that, just ripped him, ripped him apart. Easy, 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 easy with uh, Magneto. Now, y'all remember a time where Sauron humbled me. He humbled me, I let him get to a special two, and he took me out. It was ugly. Um, what I am starting to realize is I may need to take my Lady Death Strike up. I didn't want to because she's available as a seven star. And I might have to. If I'm going to be using her, she's good for most of these fights as you've seen like this one here as long as i do not let him get to a special two we're good we can actually heal up his uh special damage but we can't do that with his special two now if she were um ranked up because she's right now she's ranked four sig 200 if she was ranked up to five Maybe she would have survived. I don't know. And one other thing, I don't remember if her poison, if the poison on her affects her healing that much. Because you've seen her heal, and she'll heal all the way back up to full. So I don't believe it makes too much of a difference. All right. So got him down. So very clean fights. Now, at this time, before this next and last fight, I looked at our score and we had a comfortable lead. Okay, now I want you to look, eight hours, now it's down to one hour. I actually fell asleep and now we have an hour 19 and I believe I am the only one left to fight. I think this is the only fight left here. Um, so anyway, I, I'm like, okay, Root, which I don't like. You guys know I don't like Root. I'm triggered by it every time. I grit my teeth. I don't think right, but it's okay. All right. Um, one thing that I had some trouble in this fight was just the sheer damage. I don't know if having her ranked up will make a, a big difference, but I think it will. If she were beefier, I think we would uh, be able to do this fight pretty straightforward and easy. And I'm going to show you why I say that uh, once we get into the fight. Now, uh, even though I'm pretty sure we 
are going to win, I still want to, you know, give it a good shot, right? So I heal up. And now I'm going to show you guys that this, this uh, Big Daddy Apaco, he rough, rough and rugged. Um, I was told that in the off season, um, one of the guys was able to do this pretty straightforward and easy. But I want you to watch the uh, damage that I'm taking. I'm not getting hit. Heaven help me if I was actually getting hit. That's just block damage. Okay? Just block damage. Look at this. I'm dashing out of most of it. But just look at this. He going crazy with it. Look at the damage. And I'm not getting hit. Now, I started to think, with all that block damage, maybe I should get um, hit and heal up. But I was scared. Because remember what happened with Sauron. I'm like, if he's doing that much damage, I don't know. And of course, I'm running the uh, ouchy mastery, so I'm taking recoil damage as well. But if you look here, look at this. Look at that damage. And he's not hitting me. That's block. That's me blocking most of it. But if you'll see here, the fight is going fairly evenly. Just look at that. It's going fairly, but now there you go. Now, see, I got hit a little bit, and I dashed out. So I survived it a little bit. See, I'm trying to evade as much, and look at that. I had no more health, and it was unblockable. I couldn't even get in. He was firing his specials like crazy, all right? So I'm like, mm. if she were beefier, like if I had a, a seven-star rank two, I'm pretty sure I could take that fight without uh, too much difficulty. But that block damage. So now I'm like, all right, we should be able to, to do this. So I heal up, you know, because I still want to give it, you know, a decent shot. And I'm going to get more uh, health potions later. Now, this time, I want to see if I had let him hit me, whether it would have been a better strategy. Okay. So I'm dashing out. But... In a minute, you're going to see me get hit. You know, and now if I had just stuck with this strategy, just like the first fight. But let's see if I can heal up. Because in some fights, you can heal up. All right. You saw that. Didn't really do a whole lot. And look at that. I tried to back him off because I got triggered with that root. Okay. And look at that. Boom. Got hit. Now look at this. Can't be getting hit like that. And and expect her to heal up. So I just think she needs to be beefier, perhaps, for me. So I'm just like, wow. So can't get hit or else his special will take her out. And... The block damage is is crazy. So, and like I said, I'll, I'll uh, get some more uh, potions later. But this time, I'm just going to play it the way that I played it the first one. Because I don't want to lose any more AB. But like I said, I'm pretty sure we uh, have this one in the bag. We have a pretty uh, sizable lead. And like I said, I'm pretty much the last one here. You see how I evaded a lot of that? That's what I need to do. Now that I can see, you know, evade even that last bit. And we should be able to take him if we have to deal with him again. But I still think she might need to be um, ranked up a little bit. Because that's just a lot of damage. Look at this. If he's going to keep firing those specials like that, that's a lot of damage, and I'm not even getting hit. You know? So, anyway. Probably not a, a great fight for mine, 
But if she gets, if I rank her up, she might be able to survive some of those specials in order to heal up. You know, but anyway, that's going to do it for me and my fight for this war. And we'll be back. And uh, as you can see, look at this. Everybody is, is uh, pretty much done. So I, I did keep, I got one attack bonus at least. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, let's take a look at how well we won it. Yeah. So we had a sizable lead, as I said, when I went into that final fight. So I was pretty sure we were going to win. Uh, shout out to our MVPs right there. Uh, and let's see if we can't win a few more to make sure we can stay in Platinum 2. We're not pushing for Platinum 1. Just want to maintain our Platinum 2 status. All right. So anyway, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the stream. Uh, not stream. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.